Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Craig, and today I was asked about how I decorate. And some people are asking how most people will be able to make their homes militaristic and some normal ways of doing it as well. Right now we're in Fort Baker, which is my military uh, base that I built, and it will be showing again soon once it, all the electricity is complete. But anyway, uh, we're going to go and have a look around my office, which is the best thing because it's my personalized space where everything goes and whatnot. And uh, right where I have the desk, and usually I would pop around some newspapers, uh, different reports like hollow tapes around there, uh, some cigarettes, a globe because I planned for world domination. Um, then like different notes relating to different like plans, like when I found this evacuation plan note, which was really helpful because it made the desk look really good. You know, hello, government employee, which is really really sweet. And then these folders as well that you can get in miscellaneous. The, the miscellaneous folders. Am I stuck? No, I'm not. There we go. Well, anyway, we're going to go around the room. Like telephones make the difference in an office, by the way. You can do this with any kind of personal home as well. Like it has some of my personal flair of how I would have decorated my own home base. Like the sentry bots and the helmets and stuff like that. The lunch boxes, the alarm clocks, the books, the mechanist poster, poster. But anyway, like I have most different... Uh, Sentry bot models, Mr. Handys, Gusties, Protectons, then robot parts models, and uh, and whatnot. But going over here, you, you could add in your own personal flair. I'm still stacking at the moment. Like, there's a lot of stuff out here that I'm planning on putting everywhere else. Like, stuff from missions, like the single, signal interceptor plans, the signals checklists. Like, these uh, comics could be used as, like, literal books now. Like, you put them on the the shelves there or whatnot and have your own shelves there even burnt technical manual but technical manuals are fantastic because you can just face them off one way and have them on a shelf and it looks like you have a full shelf of books and like schematics are fantastic as well because it looks like you're planning something these trifold american flags and like the undamaged ones that you can get from vault 81 are really helpful as well different just different bits and pieces really and then like you have different like letters so you can really really um customize it like you can have a really personal one like more civilian kind of one with like these kind of letters and then you have like signals check like lists signal interceptor plans and then like dutchman's instructions and then you go over there like i pointed out earlier on where the uh evacuation plan was as well because i like to do military kind of military military-esque -esque builds and um then like if you come over here we have the like different mission briefs as well from the gunners and then there's a personal one there red it's lily and then like even the little bits little things that you get like you can get cigars out in the wasteland so i have one sitting in a ashtray and then we have super mutant orders and then uh packs of cigarettes and ashtrays everywhere and then we come over here like i'm sur i'm currently setting up what's going to be going here i can imagine going to be a lot of cigarettes different coffee supplies and coffee cups and some military drab gear and like even stacking stuff like this the green paint the protect on model here just makes me laugh every time and um then we had different uniforms and stuff like that apparently i still yeah, i did steal this that's right like you can set out which uniform you're going to wear on the day and whatnot and just have everything there i know uh, if in todd we trust all hail todd our lord and savior anyway but coming over here you can really personalize your home with little bits and pieces food and drink that you're never going to be using again you can place it out in a kitchen or in a uh, like interesting way i'm currently i'm going to be building a bar here and like what com a commander of a base doesn't have a bar in his office exactly but um like bourbon vodka are pretty good ones there very distinctive shape of uh, bottles and then like having a flag there the minimum of flag there and just really just it just takes a bit of imagination like you can uh, like imagine what you'd want um, if you're going for a military-esque one, like ammo boxes, evacuation plan orders, signal chest like checklists, um, like folders and stuff like that, if you're a real logistics kind of view on everything, uh, just give it a bit of flair. That's what you need. I have a lot of lights in here. Uh, I'll tell you why. For some reason, these lights, on their own, don't produce enough light for me. I'm not very good at the lighting, and I like my rooms being bright. And I was also testing the new lights that came with the Wasteland DLC. Which, we have more, one of our vanilla ones here, which, you know, it does enough. It's it's quite bright, and then you have these ones here. If you, but if you spread them out like this, 
have the room entirely lit up, which is great. I don't really need this anymore, so I'm going to get rid of the fan. And then you see there's a slight change in everything, because the fan was actually the one causing the most brightness. But this is still pretty nice. This has nice shadows to it as well, and uh, just gives the dim look, which is great. And uh, yeah, we're, so we're in Fort Baker at the moment, which I'm going to be planning on building up a lot of it and customizing it and showing off how I decorate it. But yeah, for anyone in the comment section who asked about this, how to decorate, oh, didn't mean to do that. You should just really try go on your own whim about it. Like try to <laughs> try to uh, just get it out there. Like pick up things that you usually need, like the Pulse Big Beacons from the Brotherhood of Steel mission, or the mini nuke parts from Colleg Mine, I think. I can't remember. Or Colleg Shack, I can't remember what it was. And um, just place them around the place. Just give it a flair. Like if you have a workshop kind of home, go for the military home, go for military base stuff or stuff that would make sense. If you wanted just a normal Wastelanders one, find, find all the items that a Wastelander would have. Just how I do it was I would look inside of an old building. Like so for a military one, I would have, I'd go into the National Guard Depot. And the National Guard training um, training place, I, I follow a tree for the depot, I was thinking. I'd go around there, look in the old power armor area, and then inside the main buildings where some of the offices are intact, and that's where most of my ideas come from. I just retrofit it from what's already in the game and just give it my own bit of personality, how I would have my office at one point. And then, then that's pretty much it and like we'll go outside for a second and like here we have like folders typewriters phones advertisements i haven't really really decorated this place quite yet but it's all about the lighting wise i'm not very good at it i would probably put like one two three in a row on each one and then have something lighting the outside but even then these lights like, look at this look how dark it gets here but it's still a nice like here, this is pretty dark right here, and then over here is really lit. I don't have a light there, but, you know, I should really try fi I can't really fix that because the stairway is there, so this side would be dark as well. So, using any miscellaneous, new miscellaneous lights like candles or lamps, oil-powered lamps and stuff like that is a great way to light up a home or the outside of a home. And yeah, so basically... When it comes to customizing and decorating, you just really just have to, you know, break down some parts of stuff. Find, look at all the raw material that you can find, like nuclear waste, by, like canisters glow green, and like stuff that would uh, you need for clothing and armor, like the military ammo bags. They look great in an armory, or in your home, or in a wastelander's home, or stuff like that, or a workshop that you live in, which is, you know, it's pretty cool. And um, just I just like the old flair of old war, kind of pre-war kind of flair look. So that's what I'm going for when I build my decorations and how I do everything. But of course, in my own, like where I most of the time spend most of my time is where I would decorate the most. And right here is technically my new home, which is, you know, it's great. I like this place a lot. And then, yeah, and that's how it goes, really. So that's really what I have to say about decorating and lighting as well at the same time. It's just that it takes a little bit of imagination, but if this has helped you in any way to get an idea of what's going to happen or what you're going to do or how you're going to do it, fair enough. I'm happy for you and glad for you. I would love to see you at one point. And um, anyway, yeah, so, you know, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.